Good day, everybody. This is Dr. Nandi. Today, we are going to talk about uh, sampling distribution. So without further ado, I'll share my screen with you. So I'll read the problem. It says the mean weight of 15-year-old males is 142 pounds with a standard deviation of 12.3 pounds. Okay. And if a sample of 36 15-year-olds is selected, what is the probability that the mean weight of the sample exceeds 150 pounds? Is it an unusual event? So we are talking about sampling distribution of the mean. So, of sample means. So, from central limit theorem, we know the mean of the sampling distribution will be mu x bar, which is mean of sampling distribution, of sampling distribution. And that is equal to mu of the population, which is equal to 142, okay? And sigma x bar, which is the standard standard deviation of sampling distribution, sampling distribution, and that is equal to sigma divided by square root of n. Now, we know sigma is sigma is 12 and n is 36. So, sigma x bar is equal to 12 divided by square root of 36, which is 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2. So we have been asked to find out what is the probability of X bar sample mean of that sample of 36 uh, boys to exceed 150 pounds. Okay, so we want to find out what is the area under the standard normal curve or under the normal curve to the right of 150. So if we can draw quickly a sampling distribution. With the mean at uh, 142, that's your mu x bar and sigma x bar is 2 and you want what is the probability that the sample mean weight exceeds 150 so 150 is somewhere over here this is 150 on the horizontal axis and we want to find the area to the right of 150 remember this line or the curve extends to infinity on the right does not touch the horizontal axis or cut the horizontal axis. So the infinity can be represented at 1 capital A exponent 99. So if you go to uh, TI 84, this will be P x bar greater than 150 means on the right of 50 150 is equal to normal cdf which is second key and then worst key in ti84 
and it is normal CDF. Normal CDF and I'll do it again. So let me change it. Okay. So normal CDF, as I was saying. Normal CDF hundred and fifty is my lower boundary from where I'm starting, and the upper boundary is one. Now capital E is the exponent. This you obtain by pressing the second button in TI eighty four on the left corner, and then comma button, second button, and then comma button on top of seven button. You get E. And then you write 99, which is a very large number on the right-hand side. Your mean is 142. But your standard deviation is not the standard deviation of the po population. It is the standard deviation of the sampling distribution, which we have determined to be 2, because it is sigma divided by square root of 36. So let's work with our calculator. We press the calculator on, then second verse, go down to 2, which is normal CDF. My lower boundary is 150. My upper boundary is 1. Then, as I said, press the second button, then the comma button, which gives you the capital E, 99. Your mean is 142 pounds, and your standard deviation is 2. Okay, and then sp scroll down, bring your cursor on pest and hit enter and enter again. And the answer is very small. It is, I'll write it for you, is 3.168. Now probability cannot be greater than one. So it cannot be 3.168. So area under the curve cannot be 3.168 because the total area under the curve is 1. So there has to be something at the end, which is E minus 5. That means it is 3.168 E minus 5, which is, that means the first number 3 occurs at the fifth place after decimal, after the decimal 0, 0, 0, 3. Now, notice uh, this probability is less than 0 0.05. So this is an unusual event. Usually any event with probability greater than or less than 0 0.05 is considered an unusual event. Here the probability of the sample mean to exceed 150 is very small, less than 0 0.05. Therefore, X bar greater than 150 is an unusual event event because its probability is less than 0 0.05. I will stop here today. If you have any question, just write me a note or write me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll come back next time with another interesting problem. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Take care. See you later.